the back passenger door and I want to show you the screws that uh, would uh, that would get you to the the second door panel the screws on the door handle you push it that little plastic that little plastic push it on the one side and it come up you see that on one side is rounded one screw T25 T20 no 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 this is 30 T30 torx 30 and this is T25 in this back door you don't have to remove that airbag sign like on the front door and when you when you open the this is from the above you disconnect this door handle it goes this little piece goes here and don't remember don't forget just to don't forget to clip it here and you disconnect also the airbag airbag this is the this is the airbag you unclip it like here just pull it from this side and from this side and the this is the right panel and we'll put it just here don't remember to disconnect your battery first negative and then positive put some rags don't not to touch the metal pieces and in in order to in order to replace the rubber grommet which is right under there and this is the rubber my door like you see my door don't stay at one place it goes like this and when you push it around it goes like back and you don't don't enter the car like you should this is the problem this is the problem you put it and she doesn't stay at one place and this is the front passenger doors which is repaired and you see when I push it on one side one place it stay at that place it's very nice now it's very nice vacuum here this is the doorstop hinge that bmw 7 series flagship has and this is the most complicated process between because did the right doors uh, next steps are this plastic grommets with uh, uh, 11 11 just unscrew it don't take it away like I said on the first video just unscrew it all this all this plastic covers this is the motors you just unclip it uh, unclip it like you have one clip like this this is the upper motor this is the in the other side is a second yes and unclip it all the all the screws t torx remember that this is a very sensitive and very breakable this is the electric line that power up the shades and just to remember just to say that uh, shades shades are clipped with this screw this screw this you don't have to remove this this torque torque 30 torque 30 or 25 and unscrew this and you have to remove this plastic it goes like very very nice and gently 
you put it on the side and slide it towards up and uh, you just to be careful about this piece because this is one piece and this is second and here there are plastic uh, rounders and don't you don't have to, you don't want to lose them and uh, you this uh, piece you slide it towards uh, outside and everything goes like uh, in one piece this with this you have three screws right here this plastic plastic is also coming uh, coming from the from the window and this part all with motors I will show it right uh, I will show it in the minute hello guys this is the sunshade rear sunshade or private shade like BMW want to call him and this is the tools and this is the rubber grommet we are uh, look at this this is all falling apart this is the this thing is uh, BMW call it uh, door stopping strut and he want to change the dealer everything this strut with this grommet is about uh, 150 euros and we are changing only the rubber because this is the iron I don't think that you should change you should need to change it look at it look at this crap uh, you unscrew this rubber with this T Torx T Torx about I think it's 20 but I unscrew it with 10 millimeter I screw it with 10 millimeter Gedora and you put in here a new rubber and clean it all this should be cleaned with uh, you have a, a nice uh, uh, nice hole here in the, in the end of the door and you just take the little brush and just clean it 